Hey guys, I haven't made a video for a while, so I just think I need to make something, but I've been studying so many things, and you know, I get stuck on stuff, so it just takes, it's going to take me a while to, to come to some solutions on some things, but last night I watched a study on the kingdom of heaven versus the kingdom of God, and I personally think that they are the same, um, which I probably, hopefully will do a study to prove that. But as I'm studying it, I came across this on Bible Hub, this commentary, and I think it's pretty interesting. It's very revealing. I'm very thankful for this. I feel like it's a blessing, and I hope it'll be a blessing to you. But I just want to make a couple of points here. The expression, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, would be best translated, the reign of God is near. The reign of God draws near, okay? I believe that is very true. That doesn't mean that, you know, there's better translations than the King James or whatever. The King James isn't the Word of God. That's not what it means. What it means is this is a figure of speech, okay? Which I've been mentioning a lot and I will continue to mention a lot. It's very important. I've realized, you know, a handful of verses that people have taken out of, that they, people commonly take out of context. Even myself has taken out of context. And, um, not understood that it's a figure of speech and, and taken it literally, possibly. But anyway, so, um, you know, it goes on to say here, we do not say commonly of a kingdom that it is movable or that it approaches. A reign may be said to be at hand, okay? So that's why we have to understand this as a figure of speech. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And also we have to learn that now, as I said, there's no difference between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, um, as I have found. And I want you to understand that when it says the kingdom of heaven, uh, when it uses heaven, that is also a figure of speech. Um, the word heaven or heavens, as it is in the original, means sometimes the place so called. And sometimes it is by a figure of speech put for the great being whose residence is there. So in this case, it's a metonymy, which is used all over the Bible. And this is on my website here, metonymy. In metonymy, the name of one object or concept is used for another because of an association or similarity between the two. Okay, so the association between heaven and God is that heaven is where God resides. Okay. And we can see other comparisons to this in a few other verses, and I'll go to them really quick. Uh, so we got Daniel 4.26. Okay. Uh, let's see. Daniel 4.26 says, And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree roots, thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee, after that thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule. Okay. It's not the heavens that rule, but God who is in the heavens that will rule. Um, Mark 11.30 The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. Okay. Was it from God? That's what it would mean. Okay. Not heaven. This is a figure of speech, metonymy. And Luke fifteen eighteen. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Okay? He sinned against God. Not heaven. But this is a figure of speech, okay? So, when it says the kingdom of heaven... It really means, you know, the same as the kingdom of God. It's just using autonomy, replacing the place where, it's replacing, you know, God with the place that he resides, but it's still, it's speaking of, of his reign. So it, it, it's really saying the reign of God draws near, okay? Um... And I just want to say that on my website, Be Converted, I move the figures of speech to study. And so now I have a section called Bible Interpretation, which I'll add more to. But right now I have figures of speech, literary forms, symbols, and types. And the figures of speech, I've added each 
figure of speech to its own page so I can expand on them more over time. And I put a PDF of a huge book here um, that goes over lots of figures of speech. And this guy does teach that the sons of God were angels, unfortunately. But I think there's a lot, and you know, there's modern versions and stuff in this too, but I think a lot could be learned from that if you want to use that as a resource. It could be helpful. And, um, but I hope that you'll come here to acceptyoubeconverted.com and check these out. These are things that we all need to study more and be sensitive to. Um, and I'm adding more of them on here, so. Uh, so I believe that the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God are the same. And we need to understand the metonymies that are being used in the Bible. We need to understand, you know, sometimes when it says heaven, it's actually speaking of God who rules in heaven. Um, but I will be praying for you, and I hope that you'll pray for me. There's lots of full-length videos I would like to make, some deep and interesting teachings from the Bible, but every verse that I come to, every passage, I always have more questions, and and I see all the commentaries and stuff, and uh, I just can't come to a solution that I really feel comfortable with teaching on some of these things yet, but just pray for me that they will come to completion enough to where I can feel comfortable enough to do a video, I guess, so, but, uh, thanks for watching, God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.